Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel, Gigi here. Today we're getting back to our zodiac signs. Today we're working on Gemini. Today we're doing a reading for the Geminis of the Collective. Um, <clears throat> I hope you're doing well. We're just going to get right into it. We're going to try to keep this between 15 and 20 minutes, guys. I'm trying to work on um, keeping them shmorter, sh shmorter, sh shorter for you all, blah, blah. Wow. Sometimes I tell you what, my tongue tag just happens. Anyway, so let's just get into it. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. It would mean the world to me. And um, yes, thank you so much for all the support. You guys are, are, are what is going on, you guys? Da, 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 da. I don't stutter like that ever. I'm wondering if somebody does not want me to do this reading. We are going to see what happens. <clears throat> Any hoot, thank you anyway, and thank you anyway, thank you all for all of the love and support that you're giving me already. Anyways, that's where the anyways was supposed to go. Do you guys hear this coming out of my mouth? No, like I can speak relatively well, like what's going on right now, spirit? All right, so let's, um, let's get some sage. I feel like we need it. I feel like we need it. Something's not. Something fills up. Gemini, what's going on? Is there somebody in the Gemini Collective that does not want me telling, doing this reading? Hmm. Interesting. You guys excited for Halloween yet? I am very excited for Halloween. So... Because of all, everything seems a little off right now, I'm going to use my singing bowl. I'm not going to make it sing too loud. I don't want to hurt anybody's ears. because that was just weird weird not strange or unusual just really actually weird because I couldn't like roll my tongue at all okay. all right let's just get into it <sighs> Holy Spirit please come down and guide me as I channel the message for the Geminis of our collective, Archangel Gabriel, please allow me to receive clear and precise messages. Guide me through these clear and precise messages for the Geminis of the collective. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect us all as I channel the energy for our Geminis. Geminis, Geminis, what, what is the zodiac signs coming towards our Geminis? Come on. Uranus, we have Aquarius. One more, Holy Spirit, one more. We have Jupiter. Jupiter is for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Aries, and Aquarius, so fire and air. All right, so we've been crowning these readings for the Zodiacs with um, love. So we're not going to change that up just yet. So we're just going to get a quick shuffle on our Romance Oracle cards. Let's see what Spirit wants to say. Off the bat, there's chemistry. <clears throat> Geminis, whoever is coming towards you, whatever the energy is coming towards you, there's a lot of chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, but there's some deception. Okay, there's some deception. 
okay? They could be using the chemistry to to pull the wool over your eyes, keep you with rose-colored glasses on, and not allow you to see the, the truth of the situation, Gemini. Okay. So, guys, the, remember, take this as how it resonates, okay? Anything else, Spirit? One last card, please. Healing family issues on the bottom of the deck. Give your relationship a chance. So, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and work on your partnerships. So, <clears throat> you could be having, you know, a situation where there's a lot of chemistry and deception that could be causing a lot of family issues that you need to heal and, and work on and give that, you know, work on building that relationship up and get away from this deception, okay? Instead of allowing this deception to continue to break down your family, okay? Because that's what this feels like. Underneath all of that, it says, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime, and then that's her, there's a wedding. But you need to take this time to get to know each other. And what I mean is, like, get to know each other, give each other a chance, get away from this deception, pull, you know, get these wool, the wool off the eyes here and, you know, realize that there's something going on, okay? It, it could be, you know, that somebody's got something to say, some underhidden feelings that they're afraid to release, that could be, you know, resolved by, you know, healing their family issues. So that way that, you know, the chemistry that they do have with this person can continue and they can give that relationship a chance because it could very well be true love that leads to a, a beautiful wedding and a lifelong, you know, relationship that could be amazing. But there's some deception here. Whether it's, you know, however it is for you, Gemini, okay? However it is for you, but... There is deception revolving around some kind of chemistry. And I really, really, truly feel like that chemistry is what's being used to deceive this person, which is causing some serious issues somewhere. <clears throat> so heal those family issues and work on those relationships there. Get away from whatever this deception is. You may not know that there's somebody deceiving you, especially if there's a lot of chemistry and they're trying to sweep you off your feet. Okay. Just watch out for any red flags. Pay attention to your intuition, Gemini. Okay. I want to see what's going on with this deception. We're going to pull a few cards from Love and Confusion. Spirit, what do we got to tell them? You're right. Trust yourself. Listen to in your intuition. That's confirmation right there of what I just said. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. They may not be very big red flags like going off like the 4th of July. Okay. So pay attention. There could be a fitness lover. You could be a fitness lover, Gemini. That's too many, Spirit. Too many. We're trying to keep it under 15 minutes. At around 15 minutes, but under 20. Well, now she's pregnant, it isn't yours, don't be fooled. Well, that's where it is. We have somebody here doing the dirty behind somebody's back. That could be why it's causing the family issues. <coughs> somebody was doing something behind somebody's back. And now... And now... Gemini, you should never stop believing in yourself. Pay attention to your intuition and go over here and heal your family issues so you can have your wish come true because somebody went and deceived your behind and now she's pregnant and it isn't yours. Okay, because you saw over here, you know, there's true love and a wedding that's happening. Could it very well be that you need to release this deception 
get away from whoever it is that got pregnant that's not yours or however it works for you and go find a relationship here that uh, you have even more chemistry with the, so you can have that romantic relationship maybe with a fitness lover maybe you could be the fitness lover however it is the person that got pregnant could be a fitness lover <coughs> what else do we got to tell them You got a twin flame connection here. Whoever this true wish wish come true is, is the twin flame. Whether it be divine masculine, divine feminine, whoever you are. Gemini. she's pregnant and isn't yours don't be fooled yep once you find out once you get through that deception and realize that you know there's somebody trying to pull the wool over your eyes this is what's going to happen home slice you got to go and never come back yes you got to go never stop believing in yourself gemini you can handle this you can get through this okay listen to your intuition pay attention to those red flags like i was saying now i understand why i couldn't figure out why i couldn't stop stuttering oh they're going to come back with this whole, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, please take me back, please take me back. I was a fool. I made such a bad mistake. You're my true wish wish come true. Please, please. No. Nope. Never come back. You deceived me. I'm going to come over here and catch my twin flame. Because all this happens for a reason. All this happens for a reason. How much, how many times do you, do you want to put me through this? So this is not the first time. Gemini this is not the first time that you've been caught that you either you've been caught or she's been caught or somebody's been caught doing this and whoever this energy is around you a Gemini whether it be you or your person coming towards you this isn't the first time so this whole please take me back please take me back vicious cycle that's going around and around and around well we're at a point now where the twin flame connections here it's not this and uh, you gotta go Go, go find that person. That's your twin flame connection. We have a biker. A fitness lover and a biker. I'm going to switch over to the other half of the deck for this last part here. See if there's any other messages. And then we'll call it, uh, get some messages from the Moonology deck. Don't be fooled. Do any paternity tests that you got to take here, Gemini. The truth you seek will show you will show itself to you in how they treat you. And we have an adventurist, okay? succubus incubus please love let me sweep you off your feet that could very well be uh you know trying to whisper softly how much they love you in your ear trying to get you to come back please take me back please take me back and you're like no boo i don't want your succubus ass coming over here with a baby that's not mine trying to get me to take care of you no sir no ma'am i'm going to come over here and find my twin flame Gemini, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. Give, you know, if you're looking into another person or if all this has happened to you and, you know, if the succubus has ruined issues with people in your life, you know, and all of this pregnancy nonsense has caused issues in your family, 
whatever the case may be, you need to heal all of that. Release this deceptive person. Heal the, your family issues. And once you, you know, once you, if you have another person or whatever, you know, and it's time for you to start dating again, if you have, if you don't know anybody, if you're not seeing somebody, whatever the case may be, once you start doing that, once you've healed these family issues, give that relationship a chance. Not everybody's a cheating little succubus little hoochie mama. No, not everybody. And even if, you know, people have pasts, I just want to say this from somebody that used, you know, I used to be, like, I used to be a player. I'm not, I'm not even playing games with you. I'm not even pulling the wool over y'all's eyes. Like, somebody that used to play games and be in, like, a childish mindset, you know, it took me a while, but I grew out of it. Not everybody that does that in their early, you know, their late teens, early 20s, not everybody's like that anymore. People grow out of that sort of stuff. People that rebel, rebel for a while, grow out of it, and then move on. You know what I'm saying? But if you're like, <clears throat> if you're like, it's later in life and you're doing all this business, <sighs> yeah, don't. Just don't. Okay? either, you know, you're going to learn whoever this person is that got pregnant by somebody else, Gemini this person's going to learn big time, okay because everything you do comes back right back at you, so all of this back and forth, up and down, around and around and around led to a pregnancy, and now she still wants to come back to you, Gemini or you want to go back to them, or however it is, take it how it resonates but <clears throat> the thing is, is everybody has to face their karma and now this person's karma is going to be to the point where now they're going to be, no, you're not coming back. Because Gemini believes in themselves and they will never stop believing in themselves because they shouldn't. Because they need to listen to their intuition, which is going to lead them to the place where they can have, you know, this wedding with their true love, their twin flame. So they just need to get rid of this deception, deceptive person that's using their feminine wiles to seduce them. They got to get rid of it. And never come back. Never take them back. And believe in yourself, okay? Any closing messages from here? Closing messages from here, Spirit. Do you want my love? Well, they did until this person cheated. And cheated and cheated. Okay, they did. They wanted it, obviously, because they kept taking me back. Stay away from tech and social media for a while, Gemini. Get through this. Heal yourself so you can go out and, and do what you need to do for you. Okay? Send all that nonsense back to sender. Do not take care of any children that were no don't 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 get trapped into taking care of somebody else's responsibility because they can't you know nope but they were probably sleeping around probably don't know who the baby daddy is and now they want somebody to take care of them no let them face their karma on their own and let them take care of their responsibilities do not baby them return all that mess to sender and go take care of you whoa she looks just like you you're like a, you're just like a piece of cake Wait. <clears throat> I want her, not you. Let me be. She looks just like you. It's time to make the next move. And you're, you're just like a piece of chocolate cake. So, yeah. You realize that you are being seduced by a succubus. You don't want this no more. You want her. You want your twin flame connection. This could have been a copycat situation. This Gemini, you may have known who your twin flame was, but over here getting seduced by some succubus that looks just like you. We got a copycat situation that's like a piece of chocolate cake to you. Okay? But now it's time to make the next move. Okay? And what that should be is stay away from tech and social media for a while. Take some time to just be. Okay? Because... You're gonna, you're gonna get what you, you're gonna get your twin flame. You're gonna get it, okay? But this, this chocolate piece of cake over here is a succubus. A succubus energy. Where's my phone? Okay. So just don't. Just don't. Stay away from it. Get away from it. Retreat. Do something for yourself. Let it be. 
and worry about you so you can come over here to your your actual twin not a not a copycat succubus no Oop, hold on Sorry about that, guys. When I get the uh, title of these readings, I have to write them down because I have the memory of a goldfish, and sometimes I just can't remember everything. Okay. Final closing messages for Gemini Spirit. Final closing messages. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams, have faith in your intuition, follow your intuition. If you're, you could be dreaming about your twin flame, you could be dreaming about this person and what they're up to behind your back. That, you know, if you're second guessing any possibility that this pregnancy could be yours, don't let deception get you carried away. Catch it before it's too late. That's the waxing crescent moon. We have the discern. Uh, Okay, sorry. Take time to breathe out. Stay away from tech. Take time to breathe out. Work on yourself. Heal from any of this. If you have found out about a pregnancy that's not yours, heal. Heal your family issues. Heal your relationships. Give relationships a chance. Don't believe that everybody's a succubus little whore. Okay? That just probably wants you for the convenience of the security. We have all three fire signs on here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Confidence is your key to success. Gemini. Confidence is your key to success. Any last messages? Spirit, before we close out this messages. Okay. Just your, I believe it's more of confidence in your, in your intuition. Okay. Confidence in your intuition. Confidence in your dreams. Confidence in yourself. To just know that, you know, you can break free from the sex magic. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. We have Aquarius out here twice, too. So, show the world the real you by using your confidence and your intuition on the bottom of the deck. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Yeah, either you have not found, yet either you have just found out about this pregnancy and all of that is that fiery climax or you're about to have this fiery climax when that baby's born and it's not yours my friend however the case may be okay so just realize that right now pay attention to your intuition because it's not going to steer you wrong all right and know that once you do you'll be able to heal and move towards the person that's your twin flame okay so with all of that said I want to close out this reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. If this did resonate, I please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what's going on with you guys because this is definitely, I, I can definitely see how this could be really depressing to somebody finding out a baby ain't yours, especially with all these hearts and rainbows that, you know, are being used towards you, Gemini, by the succubus. Or, collect, or the, you know, cross watchers that, you know, however it is, whoever this is for, I'm sorry you're going through this, but just know everything that, everything's being seen, okay, everything is being seen, and, you know, spirits watching, for those of you that are on the up and up and ever doing the right thing and being the good people, you're going to have the good, the good side of the karma, and those are the ones, for the ones that are doing all this kind of crap to you, Gemini, or to whomever, well, just know their karma's coming towards them, okay, so, with that being said, I, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Please hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date when I am posting. And until next time, guys, light, love, and blessings to you all. Bye.